Hey friends, it's Jenny, and I've started to put together um, day 10 of Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches. I thought I'd come back and uh, embellish with you. So let me show you this sketch. The sketch today is from Lisa Flanagan. She's at Bangs and Glasses. It's a 12 by 12 large title on the left hand side, photo on the right hand side. You got a strip of paper and then embellishments in several places. Let me show you what I've put together so far. I have got, <clears throat> I'm going to scrapbook the pictures of the alligator that was on the property of my, where my daughter was moving in. So what you see, what I've done so far is, this polka dot paper is from Sun Chaser, like we've been using all along. But then what I did for the decorative part here is I'm using the crocodile paper from Nat Simple Stories Into the Wild. What I've done as well is I have used washi. Remember when I said I've got all this, the Sun Chaser washi, so I want to make sure I use it. So under this alligator, uh, I had originally just put it straight down on the paper and it kind of, you know, blended in with the black polka dots. So I went ahead and I used this um, kind of rainbow striped. It's really pretty actually, I think. Um, washi tape. And I, so I put that down, laid the title over it. But then I also took this pretty striped washi tape and put it on the left edge here. I just, you know, wanted to add the color somewhere else. Now, the alligator paper here, at the right-hand border, as well as at the other side of the, the paper, I used this black washi tape. That's part of the Sun Chaser collection, and it, you know, it has script on there. Nothing that you can read, so it doesn't, you know, really matter. It's just, I wanted it for the black. Now, the other supplies that I've used so far, you see this big title here, Beware. That's another um, from Hampton Arts. There's these large foam stickers. So I just used Beware, and I remembered where I got the Hampton Arts stickers. These are from, I got them in a peachy cheek deal at one point a while ago. So, I mean, I, I've had them for quite some time. Glad to be using them. And then the other one I used was, again, that Kinks and Crafts that I have on my desk. Um, again, not sure where I got it. It was either in a swag bag for She Loves Color or it was in one of our, one of the Crop and Create boxes. Nice plain black alpha. It's worked out really well. Now, what else I've done here is I used these Bow Bunny candy dots. I used the black ones um, to go ahead and put in these dots here. Now, the Oh Snap came from the Simple Stories Into the Wild pack, and I did put that up on some foam tape. I pulled a couple of things here, not too much, couple things here. Um, there were three round circles that I went ahead and put an epoxy dot over. I'm going to use those. I've got this one in adventure, a couple alligators, as well as a little um, lizard here. So really what I want to do now is just, you know, go ahead and do some embellishing. Now the way the sketch is, the embellishing is the obvious top and then pretty much down here near the bottom. So I've got the Into the Wild sticker sheet as well as the Jungle Safari sticker sheet that I figured I would go ahead and use uh, items from these. And I think that was it. Yeah, this is all from there. So let's go ahead and see what we can put together here, right? So as far as decorating goes. I thought we could use some of the, the big leaves. Uh, I don't have obviously many left here and that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take these leaves and put them near the top here. 
where the first cluster should be. So let's go ahead and just give that a little bit of dimension. Put it down there. Same thing with this one. And then I'll also put one of these flare up there. I'll just use the polka dot one. I'm gonna go ahead and put some ATP on there. Not sure if I'm liking that. I think this needs to come up a little bit more. Okay. And then we could also, let's go ahead and use our little uh, lizard guy there. Now at the bottom, the, deck, the embellishing kind of went sideways here. So I had thought I would use this kind of um, <clears throat> this one with this alligator on here. And then I'll go ahead and I'll I'll leave that journaling for my daughter. We'll use another one of these flare. Let's go ahead and put this bigger alligator down. I'm going to go ahead and put some dimensional adhesive on him. I could use a little bit more, but that's when he goes in the album, it's not going to ma matter that much. <clears throat> let's see. We can all let's go ahead and put this. Somewhere over here. So now we've got the kind of the three spots. We'll maybe use that one in a bunch of it. Not yet. Let's see if there's anything else on here. Um, could always use the what is this called again? I'll think of it. I'll think of it. Oh, there's another alligator. I mean, I don't think I need that many more alligators, but let's just go ahead and put our little dot there. And I thought. It might be nice to have the flower up here as well. Now I know there's really no other red here, but I figure it's got kind of the pink in here and the peach down here and so. Okay, what else? I'm just going to put the wood in an adventure right here. Just like using a tiny word sticker, right? So we've got our... I know it's to mark directions, but I cannot for the life of me think of the name of it right now. Let's take this little red one and put that down here. Just let's distribute that a little bit. And we can use this red right here. What else is here? Hmm. Okay. This is the 
one that has more leaves to use good even if it's just a couple Poke these up a little bit, that's all. <clears throat> it's nice that they're all kind of different shades of green, too. Gives it that, you know, extra dimension and color. What I'm gonna do, I think, is let me go ahead and poke up the flower because I'll go ahead and put that on a little foam square in a second. Let's go ahead and put you down as well. Uh, I still haven't opened another package of my uh, three L's yet. They're here on my desk. I just haven't. Like it would take a lot of effort, right? Reach over, open package, have access. By the next video, I'll have it done. I kind of like how that looks. Okay, these little leaves here. Trying to think if I should put this one. Do it right there. Okay, now in all seriousness, I don't think I'm going to put any more on here, but let me just look through this real quick to see if something says, pick me, pick me. I haven't seen anything yet. Emoji came to mind. I know it's not an emoji. You're probably yelling it at me right now, and I apologize. I'm just not uh, hearing it. <laughs> what if I put a red word down here, too? Then we've got that red or red. Just do wild. And I think that's, I'm going to call this done. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to put anything else on there. Um, so. Sketch. Again, by Lisa Flanagan. Thank you, Lisa. Great sketch. Got our title. I've got embellishments. To in pretty much the same places. And instead of just one larger photo, I just combined these two. Cut them down. And I'm going to call it a wrap. So let me know what you think. Um, getting to the end of the Heidi Swap papers. I do have a lot of embellishments left, but it's kind of one of those things that I unfortunately buy too many embellishments when it comes to this stuff. I'm, I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm not doing it so much anymore, but 
um, I still have an overabundance from previous. But thanks for watching. I appreciate your time very, very much. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you're playing along. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.